Well, here we are at one of the most well-known stories in the whole Bible. Do you know people who've never touched a Bible, people who've never been to a church service, or people who've maybe never even had a conversation about God, probably know of this part of scripture. You find this, pas this week's passage in 1 Samuel chapter 17, and here's a very quick recap. God's story, David and Goliath. David was a shepherd. He brought his brother's lunch. He saw Goliath. Goliath scared everybody. David wasn't scared. He knew God was stronger. David fought Goliath. He used one stone. God helped him kill Goliath. The Israelites won. God's people were saved. And that's a part of God's story. Pretty cool, hey? A giant defeated by a young boy with only a stone while the soldiers cower in fear. But just as Noah's story is about more than an ark and Jonah's story is about more than a fish, and Daniel's story is about more than a bunch of lions. David's story is about more than a giant named Goliath or a couple of stones. God wants us to pay attention to the whole story, not just some highlights or exciting battle parts. Before I talk about this, do you remember our memory verse? Have a look at this. People look at the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at the heart. And remember the song we were singing last year, the big Bible story song? All the Bible stories lead to him. Well, these things are important to remember as we look at this story about David and Goliath. We can see what's on the surface, but God has a different way of seeing and knowing. And if all the Bible stories lead to Jesus, what does that mean for the story of David and Goliath? Well, it's very easy to skip straight from the story of David and Goliath to us and say, we need to be like David. We need to conquer our enemies by faith. We will win our battles if we believe. But God doesn't promise us a victory in all the battles of life. Instead, this story shows us that God will provide a rescuer. He will provide a saviour for his people. And we need to respond in thankfulness, knowing that God has provided Jesus. We are not being asked to be the rescuer. We are being asked to trust the one who rescues us. Now, there are some really cool things on the web page this week, including a link to a comic book, heaps more videos, especially some for little people. There's craft, activity sheets and props to retell the story. Can you retell the story of David and Goliath to a family member? maybe someone in your home or perhaps you could tell them via zoom or record yourself and send it to them make sure you share with them the reason why the story is important that it's not about david or about us but it's about jesus it's about god sending a rescuer for his people to rescue from certain death. Please join with me now as I pray. Father God, you are powerful. Your power can help a child defeat a giant. Your power can overthrow a mighty army. Your power can defeat anything and anyone. Thank you for sending us your son, our rescuer, showing your power over sin and fear and yuck and death. Thank you that you win the battle for us. We haven't done anything to deserve you saving us. In fact, we keep trying to live lives our own way. We are sorry. Help us to trust you, to thank and praise you for your power, your salvation, your grace. 
Thank you for your word. Help us to trust it and to share it. Amen.